Hello, this is Boom Badger, and today we'll be playing through the entirety of Coming Out Simulator. As you can see, it's a half true story about half truths. Hey there, player. Glad to meet you for the next 20 minutes, I guess. What would you like to do now? So I'm getting right into the game. Let's play this thing. Jumping right into it. Great. No messing around with reading about me or about this game sections or shush. Fine, fine. Let's travel back five years ago to 2010. That was five years ago. So the evening that changed my forever. Tell me, dear player, how do you think this all ends? I feel it's gonna be a pain to keep up with the text. It's very fast. Well, to be blunt. Apparently with you editing at Starbucks. Hey, I'm coding on this laptop, turning my coming-of-age story into a game you're playing right now. Now you're probably procrastinating. Look who's talking. Touché, douche. Anyway, if you didn't skip the about this game section, you know this is a very personal story. Shush. This game includes dialogue that I, my parents, and my ex-boyfriend actually said, as well as all the things we could have had, should have, and never would have said. It doesn't matter which is which. Not anymore. So, no matter what I do, it's going to be this ending. So there is no right answers. At least I don't think so. How can I win a game with no right answers? Exactly. The only playing is me, Sirius 2010. Because you skipped the about me, not legal yet legal name, Nikki Case, just so you know. Shush. This game is coming out and coming of age and coming to terms and there are no right answers. And I missed that last section. When you play, choose your words wisely. Every character will remember everything you say. Or don't say. Yeah, you even brought up my choices in this main menu. Exactly. Some things are hard not to remember. And when he simply announces, I brought the airline. That was positively priceless. Is that what you said? I miss out what everyone in the theater was laughing about. You either need subtitles or to clean your ears more often. So how did you inter interpret the ending? It's totally all a dream. He got back to me in the real world. It doesn't matter. Cobbs just finally let go. Let's go with the center one. He got back to me in the real world. <coughs> Otherwise the whole movie would have been just a lie. What's the point of living a lie? Ah, Nikki, you amateur poet. I take it you like the film? Yes, I did. So yeah, thanks for taking me out to watch Inception. My pleasure, Nikki. You should parody Inception in that odd web game of yours. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Let's meet again tomorrow evening. Although, hope I convinced the parents to let me out overnight. I wish you didn't tell your mom we were just studying when we were actually in the cinema. I'll pretend we'll be tra cramming for the midterms all night, huh? You can't keep hiding like this, Jack. It's really difficult to keep up with those texts. Like, it moves really fast and I can't change the settings. They can never ever know. I wish I can tell them too. I'm not ready to tell them yet. I wish I can tell them too. Nikki, hiding like this is eating away at your soul. Like you said, what's the point of living a lie? Jack, come on. I came out to my parents last year, and they were very supportive. You're in Canada now, a lot of people here are LGBT friendly. How do you know your parents won't be supportive of you too? Oh, so my character's Asian. Asian parents are usually very homophobic. I don't know, I guess I haven't tried. They don't support anything but studying. That is... a little... It's a little stereotypical. I don't know, I guess I haven't tried. You have trust issues. You're even texting me instead of calling because you think your parents might listen in. They would. This mode of communication, it's imprecise, impersonal, impossible to truly connect. Hey, you're an amateur poet like me, apparently. You yourself just said you wished you could tell them. Tell them. Tell them about us. Tonight. Just carefully hint at it. I 
don't want to freak them out too much. Still need to convince them to let me stay at your place tomorrow night. I'll tell them I'm studying with you again. It's dinner time. I'm heading downstairs now. Hey, I agree. Huh. With your thoughts on the movie ending, that is. I think Cobb's reconnected with this f real family in the real world. Oh. Okay. Good luck. Text me in an hour. See ya. You amateur poet. Where is everyone? I don't know, I usually call for mom first. It's adorable. But also very, very annoying. Did you learn poetry from a friend? Oh, hey mom. Hi sweetie. You could have started without me. No need to let your food get cold. Sure. You've your father's running late. He'll be joining us for dinner in an hour's time. Let's go with one at a time. Because if one parent agrees, it's a little helpful. Hold on, Nick. I haven't asked about your day yet. Today was fine. Okay, and what's your plans for tomorrow? Oh, uh, studying. Yeah, tomorrow I'm studying. What subject? Er... Comp- Comp science? Is that compositional science? I don't know. Let's go with chemistry. Good. You really, really need to improve your grades in chemistry class. So I'll be at the library tomorrow. Will you see- Will I see you studying there? Actually, I'm going to study at Jack's place. Again? You spent a lot of time with him. Bite the bullet. Okay, like best friends? Um, well, that's not a good sign. So you're hanging out and not studying. We are studying. Alright, just don't lie to me. I'm not. Just don't hang around him too much. People might get the wrong idea. This is no good. What do you mean by wrong idea? Do we want to be assertive or just sort of like weasel around it? weasel around it. Just between mother and son, I think he might be, you know, know what, a gay. He looks and talks like a gay. And since you say he's your best friend, people might think you're gay like him too. What's wrong with being gay? Nothing, nothing. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying those kind of people are bad, I just, you should be careful around one of them. Jack might, you know, try to recruit you. Recruit! Recruit. That's amazing. Yeah, that's... How do you even... Ugh, never mind. Nick, I'm sorry you find me annoying. No, Mom, stop doing... Th Let's go back to talking about your grades. Now, what did you say you were studying tomorrow? Chemistry. You hesitated for a moment there. I was eating. Okay. I wonder if you're studying with Jack at all, or are you just ha always hanging out. We study. So your grades in chemistry class are terrible. Mom. That's why I'm studying more with Jack. I'm worried for you. Jack's not a good influence. All he does is do poetry. What makes you say that? I'm getting you a home tutor. What? She'll be tutoring you chemistry. Her name is Claire. She's smart, pretty, and Caucasian. She's your age, too. Okay, yeah, she's definitely trying to matchmake. I try to matchmake me with her. Well, if that's what you want, I could. No. Don't be shy. You're growing up to be a man. And you're going to have give me lots of grandkids. Ugh. Stop it, laws are 50-50, cousin bye. No, I don't ever want to have kids. 
Hmm. Let's just keep being assertive. Um, bye? Yes, as in bisexual. I am sexually attracted to both men and women. You're changing schools. What? I think it's not just Jack, it's the entire school that's a bad influence on you. Are you serious? The whole c Canadian culture is making you confused about who you are. It's your child, whatever, all schools have queer people. Yeah. Don't be so rude. And watch it, I could ma change my mind and start homeschooling you. Yesterday, when you were supposedly studying with Jack, I knew you secretly went off to watch a movie. Didn't we sudden? Yeah, see how smart you can be when you're not with Jack? Before dinner, I was in your room. You yelled out Mom from downstairs while I unlocked your phone and what you what you and Jack have been sending to each other. I'm your mother. I have the right. No, you don't. Weird poetry? Helping you lie to your own mother? What else have you been doing behind my back? I feel that's not gonna further the situation better. Um. I'm certainly not sorry. Has to be a bad dream. Like that Deception movie? It's it's Inception. Don't talk back to me. It's because your dad's almost never home, isn't it? Without a strong male role model, you become confused. Ooh, casting some shade. Nick, no matter what, he's your father. You should love him. This is all my fault. I told you to be careful around these kinds of people, but I told you too late. Oh, Nick, my poor baby. As if he's dead. Put your fake crying. Phew, phew, phew. Seriously, it's so fake. Ow, ow. Will you shut up? Sniff. Shut up! Nick, what are you? Excuse me? What are you? I'm your son. Isn't that enough? Did you have sex with Jack? I don't know, did you? Let's just go with no. Please stop lying. I saw your texts. Well, we were just sexting. You didn't actually end your photos. Which one of you is the woman? Oh, come on! That's like asking which chopstick is the spoon. Which one of you? Let's sacrifice Jack. I don't think he'll mind. That that means you could still be straight, right? This went backwards. If you know you're the one who puts your... your she just vomit? The heck? Your father will be back soon. The food's cold, well, except for the spot you just, uh, reversed on. Your dad's late, must have been a stressful day at work, so please, when he's back, promise me you'll keep this all a secret. Don't tell him about Jack. They'll tell him you lied to us so you could do things with Jack. They'll tell him you made Jack a woman, okay? This went completely backwards for me. No, not okay. Nick, no, 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 please. Oh no, your father's here. Hey, Queeing. Hey, Nick, I'm home. Hi, honey. Sup, Dad. How was your day? Stayed overtime. Hopefully, the boss will notice it before my performance review. Really, though, I was just playing web games all day. <laughs> Nick, why aren't your web games any fun? I thought my games were fun. I don't know. This is pretty fun. Well then, you have a sixth sense of fun, don't you? Hey, Quee, where's your sauce on the plate? Uh. <laughs> oh, that would be awful. Let's vomit. Nick, one week grounded. Don't insult your mother's cooking like that. Her food insults itself plenty enough. Dear. So, son, how's school? Maybe we shouldn't jump that far ahead. 
I'm studying at Jack's friend's place tomorrow. Don't you remember? I just graduated you for a week. You must get your stupid from your mother's side. I'm bumping it up. You're now grounded for two weeks. Wow, you are a complete asshole. Speaking of studying, we were discussing probably getting a home tutor. Oh, is this the Claire kid? Mom, you said you wouldn't talk about this. You're the one who didn't promise not to talk. Talking about what? I'm the head of this household. You two better not be hiding secrets from me. Oh, Nick just really, really likes Claire. <laughs> Let's end this right before it gets worse. <clears throat> yes, son, you're going to be a boyfriend. I have a boyfriend. You're becoming a man, son. If I were your age, I'd ditch your mother and chase Claire, too. That's totally weird. Take him back? Careful, I'll box your ears, boy. We're thinking about changing schools for Nick, maybe to Claire's school. Claire will be tutoring Nick every day after school in chemistry. Nick, how does all this sound? Yes or no? He loves the idea. Shut up, Kui. I asked my son. Mr. Nicholas Le Leo, you want to change school to chase your hot tutor girlfriend? It's complicated, I. No pansy middle of the road answers. Yes or no? No. Excuse me? No, Mom's doing this so I can't see Jack anymore. Jack. My friends. My boyfriend. Crying. Jack did this to our son. That kid chose his lifestyle, but I will not have it be yours, Nick. Jack acts like the woman, not him. Look, like I told Mom just now, I'm your son, isn't that enough? Nick, you're changing schools. Fake crying. Your mother and I will do random checks on your texts and emails. I swear if I have to play Claire extra to make sure you realize you're straight, I will. That is sick. When I was crying earlier, he accused it of being fake. Please shut up, we're not talking about you. So Nick, would you like to say anything, anything at all about all th that? Yes, fuck this, and fuck you. We're already going into the grave, might as well dig further down. Hey Jack. Hello, Nicky darling. How is coming out to your parents? Did I tell you so, or did I tell you so? We messed up big time. No. No, no. You're kidding me, right? What happened? Well, first off, my bad. My dad punched me. Oh my god. Nikki, you need to call Child Protective Services. What? No, that's too much. Just okay. But at least promise me you'll visit the school counselor tomorrow. Fine. Unless this... And that's just one of three crappy things that happened. Nikki, I'm truly, truly apologetic. This is my fault. I urge you to come out to your parents. Stupid me. No, it's their fault. There are already better texts. Anything I would have said after that couldn't change what happened. What? You didn't tell me they also read your texts. You know, talk to my parents. It's like that mode of communication. It's imprecise, impersonal, impossible to truly connect. What now? Well, let's go with some good old-fashioned sabotage. I'll figure out a way somehow. No, I mean, what now between us? Jack, what do we do? What, what happens? We stick together, of course. As long as we can. It's late. There's a lot I need to sleep on now. Okay. I love you, Nikki. I love you too, Jack. You amateur poet. Then I will broke up three weeks later. Uh, that was actually really sad and I'm sort of angry. Let the feels flow, my friends. Ugh. I feel gross just using the same colored dialogue balloons as the father character. Which reminds me, any of the characters have been swapped around. All names have been changed, except mine. I left my little brother out entirely, because he's innocent. And I put my father back in, even though he'd left my family long before 2010. You could've at least given me a different color. It's been five years since that night. What do you think happened afterwards? Don't worry, like we said, in the main menu, there are no right answers. You have drank a lot of coffee. Uh, 
Um, hopefully it gets better. Yes, actually, in all three versions of what happens. What? Which post coming out story do you want to hear first? Don't worry, you'll get to hear all three of them. Uh, let's go with the lie first. Very well. I ran away from home with nothing more than a luggage bag full of edible underwear. I roamed the great white north, supporting myself as by am writing amateur poetry for strangers. I ate flowers, followed the rainbows, and befriended the homosexual unicorn. Eventually I made it to Alaska, where I met an adult bisexual couple named Bonnie and Clyde. Bonnie was mid-30s mid cougar, and Clyde was an early 40s manther. Is that what that's called? A manther? Yeah, manther. Also known as a fagwar. <laughs> they took me as their foster child, and I was their full-time boy toy. As we know, I like have I like having my partners to be woman, the woman of a relationship. They raised me, showed me love, and I grew up to be a protective member of the society. Manther, they were a new family, family with benefits. Now, which version do you want to hear next? That was an interesting lie. I'm happy I clicked that first. Let's go with the truth. Here it goes. I took Jack's advice and parodied Inception in my old odd web game. Reimagined the game. Didn't say that Cobbs was awake in the ending though. Reimagined, the game got internet famish. Ish. A good portfolio piece. A few months later, I landed an internship at Electronic Arts in the Bay Area, far away from my family in Canada. You Electronic Arts. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm now repenting for my sims by making fan artsy fartsy indie games like this one. Repent harder, damn it. After EA, I went to go indie. But I stayed in touch with friends at EA and stayed in the Bay Area. My technical skills grew, my social skills grew, and here I'm finally starting to figure out my identity. But seriously, you electronic arts. Finally, let's hear the last story. The half truth. As you wish. Why did you make that a clickable option when it was only the only option left? No idea. Moving on. Claire's an ironic twist of fate was also bisexual. We told each other about it during a chemistry study session. What a twist. Claire was so insecure about her sexual orientation, like me. We we're both somewhat inexperienced. Claire has only been with woman, and I've only been with Jack. A mirror version of you, but reversed. Did you end up having sexy times together? Probably not. Well, uh, all mirror images are reversed. You know what I mean. But yeah, Claire and I shared our experiences with one another. And exchange tips, like... Do a come hither motion with your fingers or rub the head against the roof of your mouth. Oh, lord. I did move to her school in the end. We were best friends. We still are. We now both moved to the US, far away from our hateful families. Together, we helped each other overcome our insecurities and discover who we are. Proud bisexual sluts. What a touchy story, I think. And of course, we wingman thanks. I didn't read that. Dear player, I couldn't help but notice. You wanted to hear the lie first. What does that say about you? You know, usually when a game gives you multiple endings, they don't do them all at once. Ha! You thought these were endings? Uh... It's just the beginning? This is just the begin. Okay, yeah. You know, if I could go back and relive all my other possible choices, which in a sense I did by writing this game, I wouldn't change a thing. My text getting read, being forced to change schools, getting punched in the face, in a Stockholm Syndrome sort of sense, I am grateful for it all. What? Yes, really. I wouldn't have been so motivated to forge my own life if my previous life was an utter, total utter shit. Later in 2010, Dan Savage launched the It Gets Better campaign. My three stories, lie, truth, half truth, they're all at least true about one thing. It does get better. And at the end of this long, stupid, painful game, where I played against people who should have been on my side, I won. I won. Bye. That was pretty good, pretty good. Especially for a free game. <sighs> now, I'm 
genuinely upset that that happened. I want to give you a hug. But considering you're happy for that entirely happening in your Stockholm Syndrome type of way, as you've said, eh, I can still give you a hug. Anywho, I have to say that I got lucky with mine. Granted, only my mother knows, and my brother, and one of my cousins. Father, no idea. He's oblivious. Even though I did have my girlfriend over at our house before. Um, I was very lucky with mine. My, it was actually sort of comical. Because it went through a group chat. Mom saw the group chat title. She asked, what are your friends, gay or something? I'm like, yeah. And she's like, what are you, gay or something? I'm like, a little. And she's like, okay wait, what? And she's like, what, are you dating so-and-so? I'm like, yeah. And she's like, okay. It was just really lenient. and at the time, fairly comical, because she then turns my brother and asks why he didn't tell her, and he's like, it wasn't in my jurisdiction to do that. He doesn't really care. The only thing he cares about is when the next episode of Game of Thrones comes out, honestly. So I got away pretty lucky, so far. No backlash quite yet. I feel that's going to change very rapidly, though. And I'm ready to cut ties with it. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. I highly suggest playing through this. Although, you're not going to get a different ending. All the endings are the same. At least from what I'm gathering from this game. Like and favorite if you enjoyed. Obviously, comment down below if you'd like to see more or have any questions. Or ideas of what I, you would like to see me play next. And of course, thanks for watching. I probably already said that already.